Hello my little cherubs and welcome to SnackTube. So, story of the day is I went to Iceland to pick up a few things. Needed some stuff for dinner and wanted to get a few things to review for you guys. And I had one specific brand on my mind. I wanted to get one or two items from there to try because I've tried two of their items on here before and they were both banging like a-level microwavable snacks, like no joke, the two sausage and pancake thing and then the, I think it was Belgian waffles, they were, were so good that I just wanted to try way more things on this range. So I could go back and pick up a couple and see how we get on. Looking through the aisles, couldn't find them anywhere. Like, they're not in the space they normally are and um, I, I went down all the aisles, couldn't see them. Until I came to the very last aisle and then in the freezer with their last chance items is where I found all this stuff so I'm a bit gutted because it means that this stuff's not coming back or at the very least it's not coming back to my local Iceland maybe it's going to be in bigger Icelands maybe because my Iceland's not that big but um yeah a bit gutted because it means I won't be able to to go in there and get them again uh, I made sure and buy it to buy at least one more of those so double sausage and uh, pancakes to stick in the freezer for when I get a hankering and uh, I got a couple other things as well to try for you guys so this is the one I'm going to try today, and I think it sounds very nice. So this is Ed's Easy Diner Chili Dog. It's new. It's new, and it's already going out, so that's a bit of a bit of a shame. I mean, maybe they're not that popular, but quite frankly, I like them. So if this video can help to increase the profile of Ed's Diner and uh, bring them back, then good because I like them, they're, they're fantastic. So this is a Ed's Easy Diner Chili Dog with chili beef and nacho cheese sauce. You can also hold it lengthwise. That's the way I like to hold my dog. Um, so yeah, looks quite good if you look at the, the picture there. I found that microwavable hot dogs tend to be pretty poor. Um, it's hard to screw up a hot dog really but something about, I mean it's mostly the bun. The bun is the, the worst part of it. So hopefully this will be good, because they haven't let us down so far, Ed's Diner. So let's see if there's any extra blurb on here, because they've got the, the usual thing on the side, from the American Diner to your home. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we got... I hate these boxes. There's too much information. Uh, it's got your ingredients on there, of course. We're not going to go through all those, but there's quite a lot of them. A lot of preservatives, I would imagine. Of course, this is made up of various parts. You've got the bun, you've got the dog, you've got the chili, and then you've got the nacho sauce as well that goes on top. Uh, so, Ed's Diner Chili Dog. A hot dog sausage served in a hot dog bun with sachets of smoky chipotle chili beef and tomato sauce with red kidney beans and nacho cheese sauce. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? And I've got a wee drink for me today, just in case it's too spicy. Got ourselves a limeade. Mmm, can't beat a bar's limeade. Absolutely delicious. Right, let's read our nutritional information and see where we stand. So, this contains one serving. And you would, I would say maybe have this for lunch or do it with some chips and then you've got like a reasonably nice dinner. <laughs> Excuse me, that was disgusting. Uh, so, per pack microwaved, 603 calories. Reasonably high, uh, not going to be great for you. So, it is what it is. 32 grams of fat, of which 11.1 grams of saturates. Blooming heck. 20 is supposed to be your max, max saturates for the day. So this is more than half your saturates for the, the day in this one thing. So, uh, yeah, that's that's bad. It's fatty. <laughs> Carbs, 49.7 grams. Again, quite high. 4.8 grams sugar. That's because of the, the bun, mainly. Uh, 5.6 grams of fibre. 26.3 gram, grams of protein, which... Uh, actually quite decent for protein that's a decent amount and then 3.2 grams of salt so again very high in salt ultimately this thing is not really good for you it's uh i would say i mean i'd, I'd need to work it out but i reckon the fats the fat the saturated fat are definitely in the red salt's probably in the red as well sugar mm, i don't think so but yeah not far off it might be an orange one so yeah um these were made Packed for Iceland Foods UK Limited, uh, it's Easy Diner and Trademark, blah blah blah, the property of Boparan Restaurant Group and under licence by Iceland Foods. I'll need to look up Boparan Restaurant Group because so far everything I've tried from them has been really nice, ever from Ed's Diner, so maybe they've got other brands that we'll need to check out, so I'll, I'll do a Google search later and we'll find out. 
Well, I'm guessing you're wanting to see what this bad boy looks like. So there's your your uh, serving suggestion, your picture on the box. And here, put it there. Here is your dog. It looks all right. Well, that looks quite good. I would say the sort the natural sauce isn't as um isn't as nicely arranged <laughs> as the box, but that's more down to me than anything really. But the chili looks good. Dog looks decent. It's cooked through. Um, the bun looks okay. The bun feels okay as well. It's a soft bun. It's not gone hard from the freezing process or anything. So, so far, looks good. Smells good. So I can't complain so far. Could be on to a winner. But there's only one way to find out. And that's to eat the thing. So, this is from exclusive to Iceland. Ed's Easy Diner Chili Dog with Chili Beef and Nacho Cheese Sauce. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? Oh boy. I've even got it in the box that it came in. <laughs> Rather than putting it on a plate. If I think I put it on a plate, it would go everywhere. So, I don't or, I don't very rarely order a chili dog because they're messy. Okay, that was mostly just sausage. <laughs> I want to get a bite with all the sauce and the... The chili. Hmm. 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 Oh, Ed. Ed, my boy. You've done it again. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. The sausage is good, right? It's not one of those rubbish, floppy hot dogs that just kind of turns to mush when you bite into it. That's a solid hot dog and it's got a good bit of bite. So it's really, really, really meaty. Mmm. That is, that is brilliant. And then the, the chili... Standard chilli, it's nothing special, it's kind of normal chilli, like tin, cheap tin chilli, but let's be honest, cheap tin chilli is really nice, like I I absolutely love as the smart price chilli, you know you just buy it in a tin, it's like 50p or something and you just eat it with some nachos or something, it's lovely, I love it, and that's kind of what that tastes like, um, itchy, itchy finger, um, so yeah, it's um, it's not blow your mind away chili, but it's nice. It's good. And then the natural sauce, uh, hard to tell a bit from the, the natural sauce really from just eating from the hot dog. I think it blends into the chili a bit too much. Let me just try some on its own. Mm. Yeah, that's cheesy, quite tangy. Very much a, a natural cheese sauce, so that's good. Yeah, the only thing, the only criticism I would have and this is this was this was expected to be honest. Is the bun the, the bun bun's a bit chewy because it's frozen and it's been heated up in the microwave. The bun is a little bit chewy. The bun could do with um, being fresher, but that's I'm not going to hold that against it because that's not something you can really get with a, a microwave burger or a microwave hot dog. I mean, when I get microwaved burgers normally. Um, rustlers or whatever I usually toast the buns do them in the toaster because that makes them infinitely better rather than microwaving them you can't really do that with a hot dog bun so um, that's not really an option so that, that'd be my only criticism the, the bun's a bit chewy but apart from that that dog is really meaty it's tasty the chilli is good it's reasonably um, I don't know about the quality of it but it's reasonably nice you know and that, that natural sauce adds a little bit of tang a little bit of cheesiness lovely yeah, decent size as well. I mean, a big, big portion, so can't complain. Um, I have no idea what I paid for this because the pricing wasn't on the the shelf or in the freezer, I should say, when I when I bought it. It's probably on my receipt, which is in the kitchen, but I'm not going to get it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it, if you remember what I paid for the the sausage one the other day, it's probably similar to that, I would say. But yeah, I I've got to say, like for that, <clears throat> whatever it cost, I imagine it was only a couple of quid worth the money definitely worth the money i mean that's lovely and that's easy you know i did it in the microwave you know you have to do each wee bit separately um and then put it all together which is good because it means that like the horrible juices and 
you know, the freezer just just don't mingle into it and make it all soggy or whatever. So it's good. It's really good. Um, takes very little time to make. Three and a half minutes plus another 30 seconds for time for getting the things from the microwave into the plate and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, grand. Love it. Yeah, Ed, you've done yourself proud once more. Um, I would love to meet this... Uh, the mythical Ed from Ed's Easy Diner. I'm sure it's just a name they picked out of ran from random. It's not a real guy, but if you are a real guy, Ed, I love you. And I hope that these are still going to be available in other Icelands because there is a bigger Iceland not too far away from me. And um, I'm going to go there at, so uh, at some point. It's in, it's in the range. You know, there's a shop called The Range and they've got a big Iceland inside it and that's got loads more stuff. So I'm hoping they still will do that this stuff there so I can still get it in the future. Um, even if it's not available my local one. Just because this is such a good brand. Like, this is one of this is one of Iceland's best things that they've done is the Ed's, Ed's Diner. And I can't, I can't talk it up more, to be honest. And that hot dog is lovely. And I'm going to munch that right now as soon as I come off camera. So, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, let me know with a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to the channel, hit a wee bell to get notifications anytime a video comes out. Uh, yeah, and uh, let me know what you think of Ed's Diner because I want to, I've not spoken to anyone else who's actually tried anything uh, from this range and I'd really want to see if other people love it as much as I do. So, yeah, let me know. And uh, yeah, just go and follow my socials. Head on to the, uh, the channel. Have yourselves a wee snack tube marathon. Go nuts. And I guess I will just catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it will be something just as lovely as this. See you later.